Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, first round matchup between Krubi underscore 222, the legend, and I Ravel, uh, without any numbers or underscores in his name, so not as good on that front, but his chorf team is better. Um, Krupi has got two mercenary chorf blockers with guard, and a bribe, 14 players total, and uh, he's got a dirty player, only one dirty player, um, and kind of min max, right? He's he, he did have a pretty decent team, but uh, obviously two chorfs gone is pretty brutal. He's got a rookie bull, which is pretty terrible, and a block break tackle tackle bull, so like minimum minimal bulls and you know basic carrier. Meanwhile, I Ravel has uh, missing a bull, but he has a good bull. The one that's there is a good bull, and he's got a claw pommer. Another claw pommer, both full claw pommers with guard, and then a claw mighty, and some guard mighty, you know, guard mighty stand for really nice, really nice warriors. Uh, I rather has. Glorious. I won't give in until I'm hands. victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. So, a pretty big advantage in players. To Iravel, thank you very much, Victor, my boy, and thank you very much, Razzlestorm, gifting a sub to Inarian. Um, glorious, thank you very much, both of you. Uh, really nice, <laughs> glorious, and then comes the foul, and it's an instant Kaz. Wow, so instant payoff for this bribe. Um, okay, well. The bribe fails, so it's not really instant payoff. So the bribe fails, but the bribe, <laughs> the bribe uh, encouraged him to do the foul, <laughs> but not instant payoff from the vibe because it failed. But you know, it's still a good trade, right? You'd trade a bribe and that and a 60 TV hobo, that's 160 TV, for like this guy who's 160 TV, but is infinitely better. <laughs> this guy can kill your whole team, so. Now the problem is he's got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is he's got two of them, and the other one's just made a Kaz on your 120 TV player. <laughs> um, oh no, he's not. He's, he's, he's more. He's, isn't he more than that? I can't remember how much it costs to give him a skill. 150 or something? So yeah, that's the, that's the problem. Is He had two of these claw pommers. And this is only a badly hurt. Um, so you know, this is fine for iRavel as long as you can get the victory. 150, yeah, I thought it was. So. Yeah. It's worth it, though, isn't it? It is worth it. Well, with two of them, it's still, he just needed the players. But he's going to get a, only a one assist foul. If only it was the new rules and he could have guard assists on this foul as well. Yeah, he has to keep fouling, right? His team is a lot worse. I think I think it's a lot worse, right? He's only got a rookie bull. The bull that he's got is worse than Iravel's bull. It's probably not as good at Blood Bowl as Iravel. Um, in my opinion. You know, before anyone cries. <laughs> about having an opinion on whether somebody's good at a little children's game or not. Um, I think I Ravel is better than Krupi. Not by much, right? Krupi's fine. That's the tile. And let's test something. Oh, well, we know that Krupi has no chance because if you look at Krupi's players, you see that his chalk blockers are not all blue heads. He only has this one blue head there, whereas if looking at iRevel's team, they are all blue heads. So, GG. GG. Call up Elliot. Tell him it's over. Can't, I mean, this is season 54 of CCL. And Krupi is still making such a basic mistake. That's inexcusable, isn't it? 
<laughs> it really is. <laughs> it's just genuinely terrible, terrible play. <laughs> There's not many things in a game of Blood Bowl that you can say are optimal, right? Everything has pros and cons. Blue heads just look the best, Big Chichi. Look at them. How are you not picking this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth would you have this head when you can have this head? This is strictly better. But, but seriously, the, 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 the claw pawn is just too strong, isn't it? Two claw pawns, it's... Uh, and the, the rest of the blockers are better as well. But this claw pawn is very likely to take the game over. We're not hitting the ball, Razzle. Kill, kill, kill. Everyone's favourite friendly streamer. Set the blueprint for Chaos Dwarves, which is always pile on. Never play the ball. Never care about position in any way, shape or form. Just kill, kill, kill. Foul. <laughs> Claw. Pile. Foul. <laughs> And there you go, there's another kill. Dead, dead, dead! <laughs> and, uh, looking pretty bad for Creepy. Yeah, brutal turn. He's now, like, hard, hardly anything to do anything with. I mean, this is why just maximizing blocks is 99% of Blood Bowl, isn't it? Just literally. Maximize the blocks you take, minimize the blocks you... Maximize the blocks you make and minimize the blocks you take is 99% of blood ball, isn't it? Like, even if things are like, you know, wrong positionally, if people, if some people call things wrong positionally, even if they are wrong, if it results in hitting a player, it's never that wrong. <laughs> There you go. Are we gonna? I mean, we could block here. He's just gonna claw pom. That was a good recovery from the Cripster. But he gets a guy KO'd for it, and you know. High level can just move these chops, these uh, hobbles back, right? Maybe he's already moved one of them back. And like, how do you get around him? You just, you just don't. Doesn't move either of them back. Just goes for more, more death and destruction. Uh, PC went to do something with his pond at Daedal. And his invisible fish. Feeding is invisible, is non-existent fish, so you know, who knows. Cleaning his pond was? I think he was cleaning his pond. I, I preferred moving one hobble back. I preferred moving one hobble back this turn. But, um, yeah, there's no need, right, still. And now... All good things come to those who win. He can easily get a bull hit on the ball here. All in on that lie, yeah. He can even chain the bull one forward. Oh no, but then he'd, be, he'd, get, he'd get stuck on him. No, it's, no, it's not, yeah, not actually that good to chain the bull forward. Could have been fine there. Garden furniture. It was his pond, wasn't it? He was cleaning, wasn't he cleaning the pond? Just Kaz, just Kaz, literally everything. Got a GFI though. Not a double one. Diced. Oh, okay. That's weird. I would have just followed. I'd have just followed, right? Like, who cares? This is arguably worse. 
because this is a 4-3 to escape. If you're in front, he's got to do a 4-4-3 to get forward, right? If he goes back, then well, just then you can chase him down. And yeah, didn't make his hit, leave, leaving him the right tackle out. I guess if he pushes him, then it's an easier hit. Yeah, really weird, I thought, sending him there instead of there. Uh, Like I would, ra I would have rather been in front. It's really weird. Doesn't punt. Is the bull in range? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it is. He could have uh, chained a uh, hobble forward with this hit, couldn't he? Which I would have liked to have seen. Pile on a KO or not? I was just gonna. Oh, wrestle, wrestle blitz. Okay, that's pretty nice. The wrestle blitz is pretty nice. See if he if he chained him forward, he could have uh, maybe got here, which would be a little bit better, wouldn't it? It is indeed a chop off. And there are lots of chops off. <laughs> lots of chops off. Four removed. Two KO'd. Two KO'd, one removed. Oh. Gets him, gets him on the uphill. Um, he's got this claw, mate. He's a scoring threat, isn't he? I think it's okay not leaving a chop. Like I, I like putting people down. I like just stop the score. Mate. I actually like that prioritizing stuff in the score. And the claw palm. <laughs> So he's in scoring range. Telling me there's a chance. Could even hand it off to here, right? Because you've got the rerolls. Yeah, I quite like that as well. Yep. You could double GFI and short pass it. Quick pass it even. Like with two rerolls, it was worth thinking about, right? You could have double GFI'd, quick passed it, whereas now he's just got a hand off, but I guess that's 75%. Gets it. Whoa. Scores in the middle. Lovely. A victory for the blue heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now the sorry remnants of Krupy's team exit the field. <laughs> <laughs> He's got what four, eight players. Eight players down a bull, down this, down his two merc guard chops, down a guard mighty chop. Yep. Don't say it's over. <laughs> Don't say it's over. Well, this was a good one to do as a replay, wasn't it? After having the epic close matches um, doing live, the one that's a replay is an absolute, <laughs> absolute sad game. Yeah, he's got three absolute garbage ones and five decent ones. A proper dicking, yeah. Not much of a dicing. 
Um, you know, because he had he had a claw pommer, um, but certainly a dicking. <laughs> And he did reroll all the hits and pile on every time. You know. Lessons to be learned here for the people who th like to think they've got big brains and sometimes don't pile on. <laughs> Always pile on. Kill all the men. He's got him off. Ah, he's already activated his dirty play. I wonder if it was worth just fouling him there, just to, you know, make, rub, <laughs> rub it in even more, right? Like the uh, clear advantage. <laughs> Indeed, Flux Dream. Do you know what's funny? Uh, if anybody was watching Eliod last night, Eliod, uh, the title of his stream was Spin. Oh, yeah! Spin, lose, repeat. And I said, that's a great title. And Elliot said, yeah, do you get the reference? And I was like, yeah, do you? <laughs> and he said, it was one of his favorite films. And I was like, wait, films? So I wondered, would everybody get that reference? Was I was I wrong for thinking of the song rather than the movie? Because Eliod thought of Live, Die, Repeat, which is something tomorrow, Edge of Tomorrow, something like that. Whereas I thought of Eat, Sleep, Rave, Repeat. <laughs> 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 Which surprised me more that Elliot knew. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, he's dead! He's dead! The bull tank is dead! Ah, uh, Apple works. Diced. Thought there was gonna be fun. There wasn't. Bull tank's a pretty good name, though, isn't it, to be fair? <laughs> Man, and now he's just safe here. Yeah. It does mean that, like, something might, like, the claw pommer, right, might just make a Kaz here. Oh, no. Or, like, follow up and then get hit by Claw Mighty. Hmm. Yeah, live, die, repeat. Everyone else thought that's funny, isn't it? I guess it would have been like, eat, sleep, lose, repeat if he was doing the song, yeah. Oh, wrestle. No wrestle. Yeah, I've never seen Edge of Tomorrow. I watched a little bit of it, like, when it was kind of halfway through. And I thought, oh, this looks like I might have enjoyed it. But I didn't like it. I just saw a bit of it. I was like, oh, this could have been good. And Elliot said it was his, uh, his favourite movie. Or one of his favourite movies. Yeah, I thought that from what little I saw of it, I thought, hey, this doesn't look bad. There was a time when I wasn't a fan of Tom Cruise. There was a fat. There was a time, believe it or not, when I wasn't a fan of Tom Hanks. Which I now realise that was the worst thing that I've done. And uh, and there was a time I wasn't a fan of Hugh Jackman. Not Hugh Jackman. Hugh. Hugh, Hugh Grant. There was a time I wasn't a time I wasn't a fan of Hugh Grant either, but now 
But now, uh, Hugh Grant, big fan. Tom Cruise, big fan. And Tom Hanks, big fan. There you go. This is this is tricky now, isn't it? There's three standing players. Will uh, Will I Ravel be able to knock them all down and uh, find a way to place the ball in a safe position? Who knows? All I know is we definitely can't say it's over. Oh, he's going to hand off to the claw, mate. He's lovely. Levels him as well. Twenty-eight. Oh, flip me. Hey, another cast. Yeah, I mean, Hugh Grant, yeah, like, now he's more noticeable, right? Because he's, like, he's all crazy and stuff. But even, like, the old things, like, Four Weddings and that, he was great in, wasn't he? I just wasn't a fan. Don't know why. Yeah, now there's no standing players. Yeah, like I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of Tom Cruise, but he's just generally in good movies, isn't he? I, guess. I don't know, like, I don't know. No, it's, I'm not really a fan. But you can like, you can watch a Tom Cruise movie, and you know what you're gonna get, and it's always gonna be somewhat decent, isn't it? <laughs> that's not, that's not the best endorsement of somebody, but he's he's all right. He's all right, isn't he? Was, the man called Otto was amazing. Uh, just recently, not Tom Hanks. Yeah, solid. Yeah, Tom Cruise movies are solid. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's never going to be in a really, really low budget shitty movie. He's always going to be in something that's like decent. Yeah, Les Grossman, yeah, it was amazing. Reroll. Oh no, he's saving his rerolls for the handoff now, right? He has to be able to uh has to be able to get the handoff. Or well, pick up now. Not handoff no, pick up. Gets it. And that is that. Now it's just probably foul the uh, the pommes, so less chance of hurting your players. Like it might have hurried the score. But... No 3D! Shame! 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 And that was a. Uh... Oh. I mean, it's a 3 day. You know, a claw pummer, man. Three dice, he's on 40. No, he's on 67. He could, that could have been. Uh... He could have been on 69, right, if that had been a 3D. Like that, uh, it's not nothing, like, it's not... I'm not making a Kaz now isn't a big deal, like, for winning the game and everything, and blah, blah, blah. But it's just literally... There's also very few things that are just strictly better and stuff in, in Blood Bowl, right? And he had to make that JD. He just had to. Hit to. Come on, you've already got six. You have to make this step. <sighs> mm. Third dice gets the pow. Okay. 
Well, didn't make any difference. It could have done, right? You got, you like, you know. I know it's it's such a small thing, right? And it's such a what it's going to add like 0.1% to your win rate if you never made three dice blocks in those situations or always did. But at the end of the day, it's it's going to have some impact, and there's just no reason to not do it, is there? That's the thing. But it should be off like when you've got a when you've got like when you've got a murder bone in Razzle Storm, right? That's the kind of brain off it is. So you just like kill, kill, give me SPP, ah, dead, dead, dead. So in that case, that's an, exactly when you maximise three Ds, isn't it? You know. <laughs> Indeed, Rick Baseman. I'm glad you know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Better coach than Krippy confirmed. Krippy did not go all blue heads. And paid paid the price really. You know, a money season didn't go all blue heads. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Like, a thrown rock could have killed the claw pommer or killed the bull. Or even the ball carrier. Like, it's such a minor thing, right? It's such a minor little. It's such a minor little detail. But it is fair, isn't it? It is fair. Like, even if your brain is off at that point because you smashed this guy. We, you know, Iron Ruffle has played B B Blood Bowl enough to know that those are exactly the sort of games. <laughs> The turn 16 rock kills your favourite player. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? It's it's not pathetic, but it's like... It's just one of those things where there's, there's like no excuse for it, right? A lot of things... You autopilot and you do things and, you know, you overlook things and stuff. But that's one of those things that really should be ingrained into, uh, like, chalice quality coaches. Obviously, I'm not saying that people who have just played, like, 10 games should be doing that. But, like... People who've played as much as Krupi and I Ravel should should just always be doing that because just because they've first hand experienced their favourite player getting killed by a rock on turn eight or turn sixteen, almost certainly. <laughs> but anyway, um, commiserations to Krupi, congratulations to I Ravel. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.